Journalist Saman Ahmed. Hey, Saman, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. I mean, I know that not all countries will vote in the same way and Germans are notoriously pragmatic, but just tell us who the most charismatic of the main candidates to be the next chancellor is. Well, uh, Germany doesn't really do charisma. This, this perhaps is the first election in its history where personality politics is playing up. Uh, the CDU, perhaps that's one reason why the CDU is not leading in the polls. Armin Laschet hasn't really done well when it comes to personality politics. Olaf Schultz, perhaps a little more, yes, but he, has, he, ha he had a running start. He, remember, he's the finance minister and he's done very well during the corona pandemic. So people are fairly sort of impressed with his showing. Um, CDU has perhaps a few other problems uh, regarding sort of personality politics. Armin Laschet isn't very popular, oh, uh, but, the, but their sister party, CSU, uh, Marcus Soderberg, their leader, is uh, one you see on the screen now to your left, he's very popular, and there's been a fair amount of infighting. So SPD is clearly leading the way with the CDU in second place and uh, the Greens in third. Foreign policy will be the thing probably that interests outside nations the most because of Germany's huge influence given its massive economy. Which of the candidates is looking to be the most open, the most friendly with the outside world? Are there any that are thinking, OK, we now need to concentrate on ourselves again? Maybe we shouldn't be the leaders of the EU that Angela Merkel has made us? No, uh when it comes to Germany, they almost have a non-existent foreign policy anywhere east of Ukraine or Russia. Um, again, um, again, Olaf Scholz of the SPD perhaps has an advantage on this because he's part of government. Armin Laschet is nowhere to be found when it comes to foreign policy. German politics doesn't really, foreign policy isn't really their thing. Germans don't really decide on, on what's going to be uh, which leader is going to lead them forward internationally. They're more sort of uh, self-centric. They look inside, they look at their own policies, interior policies, policies regarding education, health and welfare are fairly important here. Saman, thank you so much. It's going to be super interesting, isn't it? Saman Ahmed in Berlin.